Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace um, your GPU fan like for one dollar without using like duct tape or any other. Well, it's still going to be kind of janky, you know, like what did you expect? But it's going to be much better than a lot of other options. Like there's no like glue or and there's no you know, it's like, it's pretty good for a homemade solution. But anyway, so what I'm gonna be using to do this is a $1 um, CPU cooler that I got at Micro Center. Basically just selling this old, I think it's from like, like 10 years ago, but it's a cooler. So like, it's not like there's any performance degradation, <laughs> whatever. But yeah, so I mean, I'm not sure if everyone can get this at Micro Center for $1, but it's probably worth a try. I mean, like, you can't actually order, like, these kind of coolers online for $1, like, because if you order it online, there's, like, shipping, and, like, it's just not cost-effective to sell something for $1 online. I think the reason why it's so cheap in Micro Center is because it's, like, old stock. But anyways, so yeah. I'm basically just going to show you how to replace it because like, you know, like the first thing that you would try and think of when, if your GPU fan dies is okay, I'm going to get a new fan, but it's pretty much impossible. Like I took out my fan. I looked at the model number. I looked up the model number. There's no fans that you can buy that are the same fan. It's, I like, I, I spent like hours looking, can't just buy a replacement fan. So you'd have to buy an or other cooler off of someone, like a dead GPU off someone. And it's this whole like thing. You could also glue the fan blades back on, but I tried that twice and it broke both times after shortly after. So this is the best solution and it's working pretty well for me so far. And so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is what I have previously done while I was doing like the intro or whatever, is take apart the card because you're gonna, well, the reason why I didn't explain that is because it's different for everyone and it's not really the point of your video. If you need to figure out how to take apart a card, you could do that somewhere else. But another thing we need to do is that on this cooler and on similar coolers, there are a bunch of little metal tabs under the mounting screws that hold the mounting screws to on. It also holds the fan on. If you take these off, you can still use the cooler as a cooler. You just have to put the mounting screws in every time and screw it down. But once you've done that, everything should be fine. I cleaned out my cooler since I've been using it for over a year. And so what we're going to do next is just take off the fan and put it on the old heat sink, which, yeah, we don't need the other heat sink at all. It's just a cheap way to get a fan. I don't know, you might be able to find another fan for a dollar somewhere else, but this is how I did it. And, you know, so it was the way it was easiest to me and I feel like even if you don't want to go out and buy something a lot of people probably have a cooler like this lying around so what you want to do is take a zip tie and thread it through a hole and through the mounting hole in the fan there are, it might vary on your card there might not be a hole clo as close there might there are a lot of variables, but there, on most situations, I feel like there is a hole where you could route a zip tie. And if not, then I guess this can't help you. I'm sorry. If I had a different card, I would have done it differently. So yeah, now I'm just trimming off the zip tie ends. And I didn't actually have more than one zip tie, but if you don't, ha if you don't have more zip ties, just buy one. They're not very expensive. But anyways, after that, I just want to apply uh, thermal paste, flip over the cooler, and then you're going to want to just lay the card on top. Remember, if you have an asymmetrical heat sink, then you want to make sure that it's on the right way. So, like, on mine, it's not, the mounting points are not centered on the heat sink, and one of the sides bulges out. The side that bulges out goes towards the front of the card, or, not, like, not towards the actual PCIe connector, because if it went on that side, it would block it from being plugged in. 
and you have to take it all apart and do it over. So make sure your heat sink is facing the right way and then you just want to screw it in. And now we're pretty much done. So yeah, I recommend, so as you can see there, that is not a zip tie. That is the, what I use is just a piece of wire, like a twist tie. But if you don't have zip ties, definitely get zip ties. It's not a great option. It's not as secure as a zip tie. Even though zip tie doesn't seem very secure, it's pretty secure. So get zip ties. If you don't have any zip ties, I would recommend doing four corners just to minimize any possibility of wobble. Because if you, you know, if you do this wrong, basically your fan will vibrate and if it vibrates and hits the heat sink, it'll make this noise and you don't want that. Um, so yeah. And, you know, if you're concerned about looks, it's probably not the project for you. I know I like looks a lot, but you know, I don't have the money to spend on that right now. I will make, I'll probably do a tutorial on how to make this look better later, but anyways, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, if it helped you out, please consider liking and subscribing, and goodbye.